guys this is wild i am literally loading data like with ai now i don't even have to worry about dealing with files folders and everything i can load csv files pickle files parquet files excel files any of this stuff with this agent that i'm about to share with you today this is my newest agent it is data loader tools agent it calls tools and it does really cool stuff it's very powerful and we're going to see how to make to, to search file folder systems and like pull out csv files just with language like talking to it very very powerful so we'll go through all of this stuff today how to pull in data so there's four things we're going to cover first off this is the five ways to load csv files i'm going to teach you how to work with file folder structures all with ai and this is super powerful. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cover first, I'm gonna introduce you to my new AI data science team. Why don't we jump into that real quick? I'm gonna share with you this AI data science team that I built for you. And we're gonna show you one specific agent today that's really, really super powerful, the data loader tools agent. So we're gonna do that here in a second. Number two, I'm gonna introduce you to that data loaders agent, and it's going to automate loading data and exploration. So if you need to explore files on your folder, file structures, if you need to explore directories, if you need to load an entire directory, say you got a whole directory of Excel files, it's gonna do that for you. Um, we're gonna, you're gonna learn how to interact with the tools that I've included in this agent, and you're gonna learn how to load data, search files, and even explore those data structures. So let's dive into it, shall we? First things first, I'm gonna give you guys a link in the video notes. I strongly recommend that you go to my AI data science team. I'm going to, you can install it. Also give it a GitHub star if you wouldn't mind, if you enjoy using it. And basically what it's gonna do is it's gonna help you do AI. It's gonna, you're gonna use AI to do data science tasks 10X faster. It's, we're automating all the common data science tasks like loading data, you know, feature engineering, cleaning data, all of that stuff. Check it out. What we're gonna do down here is we're gonna focus in on, it's kind of tough to see here. Let me zoom in on it. It says data loader agent. So there's a bunch of agents that you now have access to just with this GitHub repo. And we're gonna focus in on this one right here, this data loader tools agent. So you can see here standard agents, it's a data loader tool. We also got machine learning agents. We've got data science agent, EDA, exploratory data analysis. We've got multi-agents. We've got even apps, apps are coming. So I've already got one app up and we're gonna have more. So this is a really good library to follow. And I highly recommend that you start it right now. That helps me, that helps you, it helps to keep you in the loop. Okay, so that's the, the AI data science team. Go there, how you install it. You're gonna do this pip install with this line of code here. To get access to the code that I'm gonna share with you today, it's in my AI tips newsletter. So you get access to not only this training, but all 13 of these that I have up now. And I'm working in the O12 data loader agent folder. And this is the file that I have opened up right here. Okay, what we're gonna be doing is you're gonna learn how to use that. So I'm gonna X out of this interactive session and we're going to start by loading in some libraries. So once you've installed my AI data science team, the next step is we were going to run this code to load the libraries. These are the libraries that are going to, we're going to be using today. We're going to use chat open AI and we're going to interact with open AI API. That's going to be used to create our LLM. We're going to integrate that LLM inside of this data loader tools agent. And that's going to be what helps us start loading in data. So next step is, you need to go to OpenAI and get an API key. You can once you do that, you can just replace this line of code here with OS environment OpenAI key equals, and then you just put your OpenAI API key in here. Okay, mine is hidden in a YAML folder, so I'm going to load that in, and then the LLM that we're going to use for this tutorial is GPT 4.0 Mini. It's very cost effective, it's fast, and it's relatively good. It's not the best model, but it's going to be good enough for this training. All right. We are now ready to start working with the data loader agent. So I'm gonna run this line of code here. And when I run that, what's happening is we're gonna use this data loader tools agent to give it an LLM. And then we're going to also um, give it a recursion limit of 10. I'll just kind of explain what that means here in, in a minute once we start uh, interacting with tools. But basically this just prevents the LLM from keep running tools if it gets into a problem and can't figure out the solution. Um, so this is a very simple workflow. Inside of here, there's what's called a React agent. 
And all that does is it allows us to call tools and it's going to kind of react to what the agent, what the last tool gave it. So you can call, it'll call multiple tools sometimes depending on what it needs in order to get the job done. Okay, so let's go through some examples and I have five examples for you. So the first example, we want what you might wanna do is learn what tools this agent has access to. So now that I've instantiated a data loader agent, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this here. So I'm gonna hit shift and enter and I'm running this line of code. You can see what is going on. So under the hood, it's going to this React tool calling agent and then it's post-processing the results. And what I've asked it is what tools do you have return a table? and it has access to these six tools. Loading the directory, gives it a little description, load file, list directory contents, list directory recursively, get file info, search files by patterns. So we can use these tools depending on what we wanna do with this data loader agent. So here's a common example. So example number two today, 205. What folders and files are available? Okay, so what it's gonna do by default, it's gonna look in whatever my current working directory is, but I can actually point it to like other spots and I'll show you that in a little bit, but let's just first understand what fo uh, folders and files are available at the root of my directory. I'll turn the file folder structure as code formatted block with the root path at the top and, and just the top level folders and files. So let's see what happens. Shift and enter, I'm running it. It's now running the React tool calling agent, and we're gonna see that it, it calls some tools. So here's the first tool that it's calling, list directory contents, and there we go. So what it did was it looked inside of my directory, and what it did was it found all of these files and folders in here. And it says, hey, this is what the in the root of your directory. This is perfect because if you imagine like inside of an application, you might just not know what's behind the scenes and it'll tell you exactly like what's in your current working directory. And this is my, this is the root path up here where I've stored this folder, free AI tips. And then underneath it, it's giving me all the files and folders that are in here. Beautiful. Okay. And then what's cool is it also has artifacts. So say I wanted to get this as data. Whoops. Here, shift and enter. And I now have a pandas data frame of everything I've got going on here. And it lists whether it's a directory or it's a file, et cetera. Okay. So I've got all that information in here. All right. So next thing I might want to, uh, and this is example number three, we might want to understand what's inside of my data for. So over here, I see there's a data directory and say, we know we kind of want to peek into that for. So let's, let's ask it that shift and enter. Let's figure it out. It uses the list directory contents and it produces the Northwind database in the churn data CSV file. So let's see if that's actually what's in here. Oh, beautiful. That's exactly what's in here. This is amazing. Like it literally, just, I mean, this is, this is really cool. All right, so now we've seen where our data is located. Maybe what we might want to do is to load the churn data file. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. Example number four, we're gonna load some data now. All right, I'm loading just a file. So we're gonna do shift and enter here, shift and enter. And now it's doing the load directory and then the load file. So it's found the file and it says it's successfully been loaded, but we don't see the data yet. So we actually have to use this get artifacts. And what we're gonna do now is pull that data in. Beautiful. I didn't have to do any pd.read CSV or find the file folder path. It just got it for me. This is amazing. All right. Fifth example, search for CSV files recursively in my working directory. So I've got a lot of files and folders in here and I might have CSV stored all over the place. So this is an example where we can see the real power of this AI agent. So we're gonna do a recursive search looking for any CSV files only. So it's searching files by pattern right now. That's the tool that it's using. And let's see what it produces. Boom, this is amazing. So I can see 01 pandas data frame agent. I've got a customer data CSV file and that is in the data folder. Wow, it just detected that. That's amazing. If we want to, if, if I see in this 05 data wrangler, I can see that there's a bunch of like vehicles in here, CSVs. Whoa, okay, 005, let's check them out, data. Wow, okay, it just picked out all of these, awesome. And I can get, as per usual, I can get the whole data frame of all of the file paths and everything. Next thing. So say I want to load in, say, this Audi.csv Audi file. 
here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say load the Audi CSV at path 005 automate data wrangling slash data. Let's see what happens. Shift and enter. It's running the load file. It's already done and we can get the artifacts and it's loaded in the Audi CSV file into a pandas data frame for me. So this is pretty powerful stuff. I hope you, this excites you. I'm pretty pumped about it. So next steps in project roadmap. My goal, like I said, is to have a whole AI data science team for you so we can start to string together some of these agents and connect them. Like maybe you have a data loader agent that then connects up to say a data wrangling agent. So say if I want to do some wrangling tasks on this and I'm going to show you how to do that. what you need to do is you need to join my newsletter and I'm going to be coming up with more agents and, and eventually showing you how to connect some of these together and do some really common data science tasks 10 times faster with AI. I am developing the whole AI team. So you guys saw that here. Make sure you give this GitHub repo a star if you like what I'm doing. That keeps me, me motivated and it also keeps you in the know. The second thing, if you want the code that you saw here, make sure you join my AI tips newsletter. Link is in the video notes. Check that out. Stop right now. Do that. That's your first step. After that, if you are interested in learning how to uh, combine AI and data science together and build with AI and deploy AI solutions that your company can use. I have an eight week paid program. It's an AI for data scientists boot camp that takes last about two months. And what we do is we go through everything, all of the important stuff like building RAG, using building business intelligence co-pilots, building customer analytics teams, doing time series forecasting agents and, and teams inside of using AI and then how to deploy. So LLM deployments with AWS Bedrock, fine tuning and RAG deployments with AWS Bedrock and AI app deployment with AWS Cloud, Nginx, Docker and EC2. So check that out. Link is in the video notes. All right, I will see you guys soon. Enjoy the data loader agent. Have a lot of fun with it and let me know if you have any questions. As always, comment in the video notes.